your your physical toughness and your mental toughness will definitely be tested. And when I come out here, I'm doing a lot of carrying tons and tons of gear up into the tree and figuring out how to use each and every piece of it to the to the best of my ability. I thought the idea was fairly unique to spend, you know, a peak credit and, and a part of my summer climbing redwoods. Moreover, more than just that, more than just like satisfying the credit, I thought it was a really unique life experience. And I thought it was really awesome that my school offered that. Um, I, I don't think a lot of schools offer half the stuff that our schools offers, but this is just like, this was just like exceptional to that. Um, and, and that, you know, it's hard to say no to that, you know, uh, knowing that it was offered. You know, some of the things that make people successful after college and a lot of the times it's not a high GPA or you know being the most intellectual or analytical but your ability to work well with a diverse uh, group of people I cannot stress how how critical that is and how underappreciated maybe the importance of outdoor education and, and team building and, and leadership is the biggest reward was the experience of the group you know, we had a really awesome group of student scholars <laughs> and not only were they really fun and, and different and we had awesome conversations, but they picked up the skills really quickly, which this was really great because it allowed us to, as instructors, to move forward. I think with almost anything that you do outdoors, the educational experience for people just empowers them. It gives them more confidence and just gets them excited to be outside, which gives so much value. And especially for young people or old people, like any person who's at a point in their life where they think they need some change, tree climbing can be an answer, which is really cool. I think what this experience has taught me is to let go of a lot of that negativity and, and really just be more positive about what I am capable of, not just physically, but emotionally as well, because these trees are daunting when you stand at the base and look up. I'm going to really try to take that concept home with me and apply it to the little trivial things in my life. If I have a bad day at work or, you know, get in a fight with a friend or whatever the case may be is just... It's, a, it's, it's something that I can conquer and it's, you know, I feel much more empowered, so. The entire experience is about the climb and it's like from the beginning to the end, everything revolves around making sure that we are all safe and getting up in the trees and having a great time, whether it's like how we interact and the kind of, the kind of activities we do and what we do when we're up in the tree. It's all facilitating this growth experience and this, this climbing experience that was much more than I, that I thought it would be, so that was awesome. Definitely one of the highlights was, was spending the night in this giant sequoia. As we were, just as we were getting to the top, the sun was starting to set. The sky had blossomed into this m magical array of orange and pink, um, pretty much from like horizon to horizon. And we got up in the tree and we kind of sat back in our harnesses and looked like backwards over our heads at the sunset. And it just sort of like flipping the world on its head. I mean, you still feel very secure because you're in your harness and you're attached to the branches. But at the same time, you're kind of just like sitting in this nice little cradle in the top of the tree. And just looking at the stars and also looking at the valley and also looking at the people below you. I mean, you're all there together in this. And it's, um, it's like a really secure feeling, but also extremely exhilarating. I could see probably part of the Milky Way, a lot of the stars, and then just out into the distance for miles and miles and miles. I mean, at the, when you look at one star, five more appear. Like you're just seeing more sky than I've ever seen in my entire life. In this giant sequoia, um, I think that sight of watching the sun go down behind the mountains through the branches of that tree is it's something that I, I'm glad I got to experience. That was really, really cool. Like it stirs me very deeply, these trees. Like I think that that has to do with the size and just how incredibly magnificent they are and the color and the stars and all of that stuff is just like taps into something very deep.
there's one thing I could stress to people, it's kind of, you know, stop and smell the roses when you're ascending or rappelling, just stop and look around at where you are and really appreciate that you're taking part in something that's truly unique and uh, very few people in the world will ever have this opportunity. It's here in our own backyard, in our own country, and if you want to do it, just get out here and do it. I climbed one of the tallest trees in the world, and it wasn't easy. The Daniel that went in on the first day would have never been able to do that. You know, there was this long process. I learned, I overcame obstacles, I overcame personal fears, you know, and I think that is something I'm very proud of, and that's something that made me a better person significantly. Um, and I didn't expect that, and I think I learned that. I learned that there are experiences in life that you, you know, you, you aren't, you aren't going to be pressured into doing, but you can put yourself in to gain so much from. And this was definitely one of them.